Hello, this is Mr. Buffington, and in this lesson we are going to look at functions and relations. What's a relation? What's a function? When are they the same? When are they different? We're going to talk about that in this lesson. So first off, let's talk about a relation. A relation is a list of ordered pairs. It can be listed like this. Here's an example of four ordered pairs. Here are some other examples of ordered pairs. Any list of ordered pairs is a relation. It can be listed like this, or it can be any points on a graph, or any points inside of a table, or an arrow diagram. There's lots of different ways to write them, but basically it's a list of ordered pairs, x and y values. A function is a little bit different than a relation. It is a type of relation, but it's more like a machine. Okay, a function is kind of like a machine. When you have an x value as an input value, okay, you input something into x and you get out something for your y value. And it's consistent. When you input one value, you will always get back out just one value. So here's our x and our y. They're going to be called our input and our output. And here's an example. If I put 1 in for x, I want to get back one answer all the time. So if I put in 1, I want to always get back 3, for example. This is an example of a function. I put in 1, I get out 3. It's predictable. It's like a machine. You put something in, you get something out. Every single time when you input 1, you're going to get back 3. That's just one example. Here is an example of not a function. This one here, I input 1, I get out 3. Then I input 1 and I get out 4. Then I input 1 and I get out 5. This is not a function. It's not a consistent machine that I have one input and I get one output. Okay, So that's um, kind of an example of what a function is and what a function is not. And you, we're going to look at that for the duration of today. We're going to look at examples of functions versus relations in ordered pairs, tables, and graphs. Some vocabulary, just so that you're aware, we have our x and our y coordinates. This is an ordered pair. We sometimes call the x value the input and the y value is the output. Sometimes we'll call our x value our domain and our y value is our range. These are just different ways to say the same thing. So I just want you to be aware of those moving forward. And I'll try and use all of them so that you get comfortable with that vocabulary. So here is a table. And our job is to ask, is this a function? To do that, you look at the domain or the x values. Just look at those values in the, the domain. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. Are there any repeating values? If there are no repeating values, then this is a function. Because every time I input 1, I get out 4. I'm not inputting 1 and getting out something different. I input 2, I'm going to get 5. I input 3, I'm going to get 3. You see that for every one domain value, there's one range value. All right. Let's look at another table. This one here, a little bit more blue. Um, this one has the input values of 1, 0, negative 3, 1, 2, and negative 4. Notice that I have a repeating value. If I input the value of 1 for my domain, I might get 5 or I might get 7. So this value here where it's repeating makes this not a function. Okay? And that's an important distinction to make there. Okay? That's an important distinction that it is not a function because of that. All right. So now with this, we've looked at the um we've looked at functions in tables. Now we've got just a a list of ordered pairs. So I want you to go ahead and pause the recording and try to figure out which one of these is a function. There's only one function of from all of these lists of ordered pairs from all five of them. Were you able to recognize 
which one is a function, here are some steps that might help. First off, you look at the domain values or the x values and you ask yourself, are there any repeating x values? If there are no repeating values, then this is a function. Here is, I just highlighted a couple of important pieces of information here, things that should stand out. In our first list of ordered pairs, our x values, we have two x values that do repeat, the number 2 and the number 2. So again, if this is a function, you want to input 2 and always get out the same answer. Sometimes we input 2 and we get 3. Sometimes we input 2 and we get out 4 as our output. So the first one's not a function. The repeating x value in the second list is 1. In our third list, every single x value is different. Now I wanted to use this list as an example because our y values are all the same. Notice that 4, 4, 4, 4. Our output can be the same every time and that's okay as long as our input values do not repeat. Okay, so that's a, an important distinction and then you'll notice that there are repeating x values in, your, in the last two um, lists. Okay, so if you're given a list of ordered pairs like this, you can find the, if it is a function, if they have no repeating x values, okay? Or in other words, no repeating domain values or no repeating input values, okay? That's how we determine if it's a function. Our third type of way of listing a relation or a function is to show a graph. Here's a graph of um, five points. And we can do something called the vertical line test. And I'll explain what that is in just a minute. But look at these points. I've gone ahead and labeled them using approximate ordered pairs. I just sort of made up these numbers. Um, but if you have these ordered pairs, you'll notice you have a repeating x value, 4, 4, and 4, 5. You see that value? Another way other than listing the ordered pairs is actually to draw a vertical line. If you draw a vertical line and it hits two points, that means they have the same x value but different y values. So a vertical line test is a way for us to see if it's a function. If the vertical line touches two places, anywhere on the graph, if a vertical line hits more than one place, then it is not a function. All right. So in other words, it has a repeating domain or a repeating x value. So I have two graphs here on the next slide, and I want you to tell me which one of these is a function. Um, these are kind of funky looking graphs. Graphs can be squiggly lines, straight lines, they can be points, they can be all sorts of things. Which one of these is a function? Perhaps you draw some vertical lines. Uh-oh. Notice in our first graph, I drew three vertical lines and they either hit one place on the graph or no places on the graph. In our second graph, the graph on the right, I drew that line and it touched in two places. You see how there are several points on that, that graph where the blue lines are directly on top of each other. So our first graph is a function. No points are directly on vertical of each other. And our second graph is a relation, but it is not a function. All right, so that's how the vertical line test works with graphs. I just wanted to explain that as well. So what we've seen today is we've seen functions and relations. We've seen them in tables, in lists of ordered pairs, and in graphs. Those are usually the three ways that you see um, functions and you're asked if they are you know, a function or if it's just a relation. Hope that lesson's been helpful for you. Here's your Common Core anchor and your PA eligible content. Have a wonderful day.